Hello everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CID TV News update this Friday. Kemen Airways continues to go the extra mile to bring families together over the holiday season. Additional flights have been added to the Cayman Brac, Jamaica and La Saba, Honduras in routes. Cal is advising residents that the additional flights are filled or rapidly filling up due to the high demand this holiday season. So the airline is encouraging passengers to get their seats booked to avoid disappointment as there is still limited space. You can also go online or call Cayman Airways for more details on the extra flights. Well, the Georgetown Library was the venue for the K Riders Book Fair in early December, and there are other exciting things happening at the local library. Deputy Director of Library Services, Mr. Paul Robinson, explains. The library offers uh, e-books as well as hard copy books. Uh, we have a collection of 33,000 books online, and all you have to do is go to our website, which is uh, the Cayman Islands Public Library Service website. And if you're a library member, which you have to get a membership card, you can log on with your membership card and then you can create a password and you can access up to 33,000 books and 1,700 journals, including newspapers, magazines, uh, which normally cost a lot, but for $5 membership of the library, you can have as many as you like over the period of the year. Of course, children are free as well, and we have children's books as well. So it's a very, very important part of uh, the library collection. And, and what we don't have physically, you can go online. And this, this is what libraries are about. They're about taking on new technology. It's not just about the physical book and the physical location. We understand that libraries have to expand in the modern world, and there's e-books, there's books on Amazon, etc., etc. So this is something we're pushing very hard from. Well, 10 staff from Appleby spent a day working with the Cayman National Cultural Foundation as volunteers to help prepare Ms. Lassie's house for Christmas as part of their annual Christmas of yesteryear's event. CNCF received a grant earlier in the year from Appleby to help boost the number of monthly student tours at the Mind's Eye, the visionary world of Ms. Lassie on South Sound. The school's program designed to cater to students from ages 4 to, uh, to 16 allows students and their teachers to access the site during school hours and participate in life-enriching cultural activities. Now, many of the Appleby volunteers who participated in the cleanup are committed to protecting history and restoring the grounds for today's residents and future generations to enjoy. CNCF officials say they are grateful for the Appleby donation. Well, 25 students from Savannah Primary brought some Christmas cheer to the civil service on Thursday. The students sang carols in the lobby of the government administration building and decorated a traditional willow Christmas tree complete with handmade ornaments and a white beach sand base. The kids ages 6 to 7 also spent some time talking with officials and visitors to the building. Teachers tell us the children are learning about Christmas observances around the globe as part of their school's curriculum. Well, if you missed today's news update, you can get all the details on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. And we invite you to tune into Radio K Mans for the record and talk today's shows. That's week mornings and weekdays. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a wonderful and safe night and a great Christmas when it comes. Until then, bye-bye for now.